Um, so I guess the first thing I'm going to start with is what is one thing you want the student body to know about you? <laughs> what? Let's no. see. Do you have any? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, I I can kind of. Can it be really like silly? Because <laughs> <laughs> my favorite color is pink. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But um. Hmm. I guess one thing I I could say that I know I can't really speak for Mia, and you can. Mm -hmm. add this a lot, but um, really there is one thing that at ASM we're always faced with, and that's the idea of outreach and really connecting with the student body, and I think the one thing that would be great for the student body to know, um, the, we would like to get out there is that, you know, we really do want to make connections with the student body. We really do want to have meaningful outreach to student groups, to students on campus, um, you know, I think so often we hear, oh, ASM is really disconnected, ASM is really in this, you know, different realm, but um, really I, I think it would be so great for students to know that, you know, at our core of what we do, um, we always want to maintain a strong connection to the student body. To I think that, um, I think when you think about qualities, I think there's just this drive in me. Um, to want to make sure that every student on campus um, has a great experience here in a variety of different ways. And then I think skills, David and I have been in ASM since we were both freshmen. I was a freshman representative on student council. I was also the diversity committee chair. Um, and those experiences, those skills, and the development that we were able to receive from those opportunities has really given us a very well-rounded and holistic approach to how to serve the student body in the best capacity from being a representative on council and, and seeing that power um, as a representative is, is, a, is the voice of the student body and also being a grassroots committee chair um, and, and working on really campaign grassroots driven ideas it kind of all comes together and I think creates a great skill set for me to be able to do the job this year. So I think we definitely learned a lot last year and one thing that we really learned about was that aspect of outreach. Um, you know, we've really made great strides uh, moving from last year, from previous years, um, in connecting with the student body. And I'd say that's something that we're both extremely proud of. You know, in our in our capacities in diversity committee and the press office, we both had to do this heavy amount of outreach. And um, it's so great to be able to bring that to the positions of chair and vice chair and really set that as a priority for ASM. So we'll just keep rolling here. Um, what is the biggest issue facing this campus, and how do you plan to fix it? Oh. That's a tough There's one. A I, I, would, I would venture to say probably just affordability in, in a lot of aspects. And, um, you know, actually we're having this conversation tonight at Council about affordability, not just student debt, though, um, in a holistic way. And I think one of the reasons why uh, affordability is the biggest problem is just it, it comes from so many different angles, especially from the student perspective. There is student debt, there is, you know, the federal policies that, you know, regulate, um, you know, how what students are getting uh, grants or, you know, uh, the loan policies, etc. But you also just think of things like employment, um, you know, students having to work uh, to be able to pay for tuition, you think of housing. Um, there's just so many different angles, and I think that's why it's a, it's it's a uh, one of the biggest problems because there has to be a holistic approach to uh, discussing the topic of affordability. It's not just one area; it's it's many areas that we have to have critical dialogue around in order to um, try to devise a solution to it. So, so we've been very happy with. Uh, Chancellor Blank's commitment to student shared governance. Um, that's something that you know the papers have been talking about a lot, but really we've seen a strong dedication to the ideal of shared governance and what it means to you know see students not just as advisory but as key stakeholders and decision makers on campus. Yeah, I agree, and uh, she definitely has a dedication to um, doing work here on campus. I, in all of our interactions with Chancellor Blank. 
Um, she has been very efficient um, and, mm -hmm. and very much in a work mindset of, of working what, in whatever capacity that is to serve this campus. And um, it, like David said, it's just great that um, as being someone that uh, was not used to perhaps our shared governance model, that she has quickly understood what that means. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay.